Hi there, Joker here for the Page Evans Design Team, and today I have a new layout to share with you. I created this with the um, the beautiful new Wonders collection, and I chose a bunch of um, papers for this uh, in rainbow colors. And I'm gonna do something here that I saw Page do in a recent class. Um, she created a few. Uh, rosettes in a smaller size and um, she created a wreath with them but I didn't want to do the same thing so I'm just going to create one big rosette so for that I um, measured five and a half inches uh, so these I knew that I only need one of each triangle so I did not bother cutting out a square so I only um, as you could see, I only measured the five and a half inches on two sides of the paper, and then I'm just, uh, you know, I'm just trimming that off or cutting it, the triangle off of these papers. You need eight um, of these pieces to create one rosette in any size. So um, what I did here, why I'm, why I have to trim, is because I. Um, want it to be quick and had like four papers um, together and my um, trimmer didn't cut them really nicely so I had to trim off a little bit so what I'm I'm doing here is not something that you absolutely need to do but I um, I wanted to know exactly where this the middle is of, of the triangle so that I can fold these um, the two sides back easily um, so what you see here is that, I, that I'm scoring them or, um, yeah, I'm, I'm scoring them so they are easier to fold. Um, these, the paper is quite thick. So when you fold the, um, the sides here, um, like so, then the, the top bit, the tip, it's a bit it could be a bit ugly like torn or whatever at least for me i mean i don't know maybe you guys are better at this in any case that's not an issue because i'm gonna cover that up um with a photo so you don't have to be very you know very precise about it but i still like to do a clean and neat job for some reason even though i knew that i was gonna cover it up but yeah okay so I'm just repeating this over and over I don't know watching Paige's class she was so fast she had to uh, do I think 40 40 of these shapes but then really small ones as well and she was done so fast and I think this just these eight took me like 20 minutes <laughs> I'm really super slow. Um, anyway, so once I'm done with this, I'm try I'm gonna try to see how I wanna arrange my rainbow. And then I will try to find a background paper, which is always the most difficult part, of course. Um, but before that, I'm also trimming down my photo. I'm leaving a white edge. I always leave a white edge around my photos. Um, I'm not sure why I like it. I think it just creates uh, a little, little bit of border. And then, you know, your background and your design is kind of um, separated. Your photo pops um, more, I think. <laughs> Okay, so I first picked this blue paper, but I used it on my last layout. So I was thinking maybe I should pick something else. Then I'm trying this dark blue, which I really love, but not with the not with the rainbow. It was too too dark for me, especially the photo. You know, the photo is like a really sunny, uh, beautiful spring day. I didn't want it to be that dark. So I will end up uh, with a totally different background. But before I decided on that, I uh, glued this whole thing together so that it's easier to move from background to background. Um, for this, I just die cut a circle 
it doesn't have to be big and I'm gluing down the um, these shapes and once that's done I can easily um, just try it on different backgrounds I don't know why I didn't think of this before <laughs> but okay so this is what I'm gonna go with the green actually but I did try some um, other ones some pink like this one and another pink here um, of course a rainbow is probably the nicest on a on a white cardstock but I'm not a white background scrapper so that was that I mean I tried it but I, I didn't want to do it so uh, I don't know maybe you uh, caught a glimpse of the green cardstock I'm using the one from the 12 by 12 paper pad not the double-sided one Um in this case I, I don't know uh, I, I don't remember if this was the case in previous collections as well but the colors are a bit different in the paper pad than the 12 by 12 by 12 uh, double-sided papers and in this case they are actually a bit lighter and that's why I chose it because somehow everything seemed too dark with this photo so um, and also I really liked the the circle design in the background that kind of I, I don't know I think that just fits so well with this rosette okay as for the embellishments I had no idea how to do this <laughs> so I'm just going through everything that I have um, I started with the chipboards and I think I probably could have um, found um, everything that I needed just on the chipboard sheet but um, then I realized that that would look just you know to <laughs> I wanted to say one dimensional but it's not really uh, what I mean I mean it's just a bit boring then to me you know that it, it's all the same um, and because I have so many embellishments I wanted to use different ones so I'm now going through the die cut pack and I'm picking out some tone on tone embellishments from here as well. Um, three butterflies, some flowers, and then uh, I'm gonna mix that with the chipboard. I'm not gonna be using the birds, um, mostly just flowers, leaves, and butterflies, that sort of thing. And yeah, I'm gonna check the other ones as well, but I think I'm gonna be using a few more stickers and then that's it my title is also from the chipboard sheet um, okay so I'm still looking through the the floral die cuts but uh, those are really big um, I couldn't really fit them in there and from the sticker book I think it's called eight page sticker book I'm not entirely sure um, I'm, cho I'm choosing these little stickers also in the same colors as the papers and then that's it I'm, I'm not gonna be adding much of anything else so uh, these three stickers I'm uh, gluing down onto cardstock and then I'm gonna fussy cut them out and check this out the back of the um, this paper is so cool as well you could cut down you know you could cut down the um, the two ends and then you get a um, what's it called octagon that's the Hungarian name I think that's probably the English as well um, maybe you know you could use that as well for a different design but then you have to be mindful with the patterns on the back because obviously now that i wanted the front to be the front i wasn't looking what's on the back all right so um what i did what i'm gonna do here is because i want to tuck uh, these little um, embellishments in there I glued down half of the um, the shapes 
so it's easier to for, for the embellishments to um, you know to stay there I don't know if that makes any sense but you will see what I mean I hope I didn't miss that and I hope I didn't already glue them down um, you know while I was talking here and I'm still looking for different embellishments so I'm still changing things around but it's still uh, just gonna be the um, the flowers and I was checking if I can have like a journaling spot for my journaling but I didn't like the look uh, of any of them they, it just seemed to me that it takes away from the design so um I dismissed that idea. So apparently I already glued everything down and I forgot to tell you. I'm, I really am sorry. Um, so as you can see where I tuck in the embellishments, I glued down that side so that they can be flat. And yeah, and the other side of the triangle, well, it's not a triangle anymore, but the other side of it is... Um, is not glued down so there's some dimension there so i'm now um, gluing everything in place and then the layout is almost done i will only be adding a journaling and i think my date and that's gonna be it i felt like it's not too busy, but I felt like it's uh, it, it doesn't need more. Okay, so I always need to add lines. I cannot write straight to save my life. I think even with lines I have trouble. Um, and then I'm going to stamp my date onto that chipboard. And because it has a uh, like, uh, shiny surface or glossy or I don't know um, I'm just hoping that my date actually stayed there I did not check <laughs> I should check before I put it in the album I don't know if the ink is gonna stay there hopefully it just dried and I don't I, I cannot wipe it away anyway so this is the layout I I hope um, you enjoyed this and maybe you give it a try as well it was super fun to make it Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.